Oh, wow. <laughs> it has. It's been a full year. Um, we've, I guess, as a community, just had our ups and downs with everything going on with COVID. Um, yeah, so I was here the very first day and just kind of seeing how we've been able to progress um, with distributing food as a whole, as a food bank. Um, we started our very first week. Um, we had six cars come in and they all lined up and at one at a time we put in food and it's just kind of completely exploded from there and we've actually, I don't know, just as a, it's really cool to see that the, the food bank as a whole has been able to kind of come together and make things so much more efficient. Um, we're able to serve more people in less time. I think we started with three or four hours we had for distribution and now we're down to two hours and we're able to get in everybody who needs food. So it's really cool in that aspect. I was actually out in registration in the middle of the summer um, and I walked up to a lady and I said, hi, I try to be nice and bubbly when I'm out doing registration. Um, and she looked at me and she just kind of broke down in tears. And she goes, I drove all the way from, I think she up in Berks County somewhere. And she's like, is there any way I can just get food? I'm feeding 12 people right now. My daughter has cancer. They were just trying to kind of make it, just make it by day by day. And she, I sat there, of course, distance from her, but I just watched this woman, I watched her cry. She drove an hour and a half to come get food because this is her only option. Um, so she definitely sticks in my mind a lot. Um, I actually saw her come through a few weeks ago and she's doing better. I think her daughter is actually in remission, which is really great. Um, but that was kind of the one, <laughs> the one lady that stuck out to me.